after sleeping for so long. Now Laser Bits can't sleep at all. She's awake all the time, watching her subscriber count grow and grow. One evening, she was sitting in front of her PC, mesmerized by the increasing numbers. 600, 601, 602, on and on it went. Ma, ma. 665. Laser Bits could not believe it. She did a celebratory dance. It was awkward, and it did not look very cool, but she did it anyway. She started chanting to herself in anticipation. Over and over she chanted. 666, 666, 666. And then, with a click that echoed through the realms, it happened. Six, six, six. But then, the atmosphere shifted. Colors melding into sinister hues. A bolt of lightning, a clap of thunder. And there, in the midst of her celebration, appeared a figure most unexpected. <laughs> what was that? Who the hell are you? I am the devil. You have summoned me from the depths of hell. What are you doing here? Well, you did that really weird dance and chanted 666 over and over. I was sleeping, but thought it must have been really important. So here I am. Who do you need me to sacrifice? Um... No one. I don't want you to sacrifice anyone. Uh, not even an ex-boyfriend? Ooh, hmm. Nah, better not. Well, I'm here to sacrifice someone, and I'm not leaving until I do. So, looks like it's going to be you. With a flourish, the devil drew a dagger. He raised it high, poised to strike at the heart of our lovely, precious, beautiful angel girl. <gasps> wait! Wait, 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 wait. Uh, wait for what? Uh, well, before you sacrifice me, could you do me a little favor? Um, okay, what is it? Could you... You know, subscribe to me on YouTube. The devil, taken aback by such a mundane request at such a dire moment, could only stare back at her. Please subscribe to me, please. Okay, okay, sheesh. And with a few taps on his infernal device, the deed was done. The subscriber count ticked over to six, six, seven, and just like that, with a howl of dismay. Oh no. Oh no. You tricked me. Ara! Our devilish interloper vanished into a vortex of his own making, leaving behind nothing but the echo of his mistake. What a dumbass.